one of the things we had on our strategies that sort of be concerned. And if I would, if I ask it for either the management district or the health department, <coughs> one of our asked was timely notification. And I know that there is a result of our meeting with the, with the city manager and the mayor back in December, the consensus was that the agreement well, they would notify our county coordinator if there was a spill. Well, that's all fine and well, but they don't need that. They don't need to notify our county coordinator, and you know, uh, they need to be notified management district or department of health or DED in a time frame. I'll be right with you, sir. So, um, anyway, that's some of the, the things we talked about. Mr. Chair, when you talk about the people to contact on a timely basis, it is no more trouble to have your list set up when you're going to email and notice out. It is no more of a problem to have that set up and send it out to 25 or 30 different people if you need to than it is to send it out to Swanee River Water Management or Department of Health. Well, we Plug in our <coughs> county coordinators, county managers on that list, and it goes out to them. Um, first of all, the city of Valdosta, something you may not be aware of, every year they have a retreat. It's March 15th and 16th. I can send you the address. They won't let random people speak, but if one of your members or someone was there as a delegate, it would be noticed. And your topic will be on their agenda. So it's a thought. The other thing is, I asked for <coughs> years to get Valdosta to timely notify me, and I got blindsided again and again and again. But fortunately, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Because they are required to report spills to the state of Georgia, and the state of Georgia now posts those spills each workday, which is how I know in December, Valdosta didn't spill just two times, they spilled more than two dozen locations. That, uh, one side of that is all of Valdosta spills in 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018. The other side is the first three days of December, everything in the state of Georgia. You'll see in those three days there were more in Valdosta than the entire rest of the state. And there were other spills from uh, Tipton, Quitman, and uh, Mount County, but uh, by far more from Valdosta. Uh, now these spills are what are these like manholes spills or some of them are manhole spills or, uh, and some of them are quite large. Uh, in December there were two into One Mile Branch, which runs into Sugar Creek, which runs into the Withacoochee River. It's a more direct water path than from the wastewater treatment plant. That was more than 200,000 gallons of raw sewage. So uh, some people think. Uh, I haven't heard anybody in this room say this, but others, that the catch basin, the catch basin is a great idea, it should be done, but it won't completely solve the problem because that only, that with the Gucci wastewater treatment plant only accounted for two thirds of the spills in December. They need to do a lot more work and sure they need funding, yeah, but anyway, you can now find out. You don't have to wait for them to get around to telling you. I can point, I'll send you mail where that is. Please. <coughs> Wonderful. Um, we were told, Brian, correct me if I'm wrong, when we met with the mayor, that they were required to report to the Georgia Department of um, within 24 hours. Major spills. Major spills over 10,000 gallons. So even at that point, it appears that it may be as much as 24 hours in the field before their Georgia Department of Environmental Protection is notified. This is very interesting. Appreciate that. Okay, so uh, I guess back on the topic where we were, is it the consensus that we attend their next or meeting on the 21st under citizens comments? And present our resolutions and situation and request, specifically request to schedule a workshop. Is that the yes. of this board? Yeah. Board? Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I would also ask, I mean, I would
the steel move forward by utilizing the Hermione's office. What Chris here just mentioned, Two Swanee Valley Transit Authority board members on this board, and they just got recently a brand new Mercedes bus. So there's a parking ride in Lake City, which is <laughs> equal distance for everybody. And that bus, the last I heard, was just for special events. It's kind of like a VIP bus. So you might be able to work out something with Swanee Valley Transit and meet everybody at the parking ride on I-75 and US-90, and everybody can go up there. And former Commissioner Sessions had reached out to me in, in the past and says, if you guys get ready and you don't go in it as a group, I can make that happen for y'all, to transport everybody up there and, as a group. And if that needs to happen, one, you know, we will reach out. If that's okay. I, I don't know that you come in, but we had talked about it, and then we decided to do best just to let the chairman and vice chairman go and talk to him as well, to the city about us. Okay. Yes, I, my, my two cents on, on the idea of maybe just sending two or three people, if you all went and each one of you said, I represent Dixie, I represent Bradford County, I rep if you went for your three minutes, you would actually probably get close to a half hour. <laughs> um, but but if, you, if you did that, that is a huge show of force um, that they would have to reckon with. To watch a, a, a a, a, an elected representative from each of these North Central Florida counties show up in that meeting and each person says, even if you just say, I'm whoever from whatever county and you know, we need a workshop and that, that's it. It's not like you have to speak for the whole three minutes. I think that is huge. After everything we've been through in the last 10 years, why not? Are you gonna do another two or three? I mean, I've, the dog and pony shows that have been going on with this are far too long. Yeah, that makes a lot, of, a lot of good, it's a good point. Strength in numbers? Yeah. yeah. They can't they can't deny you. I mean, I guess they could, but they were very kind to me. So Mr. Chair, I personally like that idea yeah. because if I were sitting in one of our board meetings and a group of people walked in to address the subject, it wouldn't automatically make me mad or, or turn me off or put me on the defensive if each person got up like she said and just professionally and briefly spoke for a minute about why you were there and sat down. And it does show them that we do have a group here who are concerned. It is more of a show of force. What turns me off more if just the two of us went with the right. wrong type of demeanor right. and got up there to speak, then that automatically turns people off. Right. But I think if they did see how many counties are being affected and how concerned we all are. I, I think that's a very good suggestion. Mm -hmm. So it was on March 21st. March 21st at 530. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I'm aware of and would it be appropriate, Scott, I mean, if, if we have a commissioner that's on this task force at 10th and 10, can they send a request another board member for their county at 10? Yes, it could, but you're not having a meeting or taking the action to speak with them. I'll speak for Gene. He's got a meeting on that night with his commission. <laughs> and I'll be presenting to him, so I won't be there either. So. <laughs> we might have that issue. Um, 
as far as so Columbia makes the third Thursday. I can say an access to monitor that. You're representative for the Scott, can you kind of put us put it together for all of us as far as I mean I, it's easy enough for me to I'm good Madison County, I can drive up there there is no problem. But uh, from from other areas y'all might consider important to you to point out to look at um, but maybe get together and cool them maybe with uh, yeah. yeah. Anybody other than you say Columbia has a conflict, Dixie has a conflict. That might know. be a workshop for me, I'm not sure. Okay. Is it that's the third Thursday? The twenty first. Yeah. Yeah. March. We have we do. Okay. So those counties that do have meetings on the third Thursday, if you could send a system I'll manager to the staff person. Is that possible? Stand up, 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 stand up. And I would certainly think that if, you know, the, our spokesperson would speak and then introduce or allow everybody represented there to stand up and say who they are and who they represent, what county they represent. And I'm sure they would probably train us the more than a three minute allotment. To three to, minutes each is five. Yeah. yeah. So it yeah. might be kind of like the for We all showed up over there the other day, the 20th, and uh, they agreed to let them talk as long as they wanted because everybody weighed their time. So we had about 30 or 40 on the yeah. list to talk. Yeah. Three minutes apiece. One of the things I was mentioning to Brian was that if you have eight or nine people that are on county, you could, you could identify one issue as to others, another issue is the requirements that our counties have to oblige to counties next door to them. And that in Florida, we have to do this. And so very briefly talk to them about, you know, different aspects of what our expectation is in Florida, and that's all we're asking upriver is for compliance with that. So use the time very briefly to educate them on all the different requirements that we have. But I, never, I, still, I still never want to lose the focus on what the problems are, of course, being health and safety, environmental, you know, okay. economic development. Sure. I mean, those four key things that, that, that these issues cause us. You know, one is public health care, you know, for our public, you know, you know and environmental, and destroying our eco-tourism, you know, and such as that. So, have another comment? I have some context on the Valdosta City Council. Uh, when Mayor we spoke, the mayor wasn't there. The mayor pro tem was running the meeting. She was more congenial than what you will receive as a reception if you go when he is there. Uh, no offense, I know him, he's a fine fellow. Um, they will cut you off in three minutes. And as even the mayor pro tem said, they have a rule that if everybody's speaking on the same subject, they have only one person. So his idea is excellent. You could like, each have a different aspect of one of those four things. And if they did cut you off, that might be news at least in the local newspaper, and if I know when you're coming, I'll be happy to alert the TV and everybody else. <laughs> March 21st. All right. <laughs> and if we need to break it out into those four major components and uh, speaking points, then that's, that's what we'll do. We have each individual to talk about. It. So, anyway, uh, I hope it doesn't come to that type of environment. You know, I hope it is going to be a cooperative environment. You know, and, uh, so we'll go from there. Any other comments about uh, the meeting? And if you would work with Scott on who will be going, and if there needs to be any if there's any issues with travel arrangements. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing I was going to mention because Don and I are the ones on the Swan Valley Transit Board. So as Stu had said there is that van that's available to counties to use if there's an interest if you'll let Scott know we'll be glad to talk in later sessions. I, I'm like Rick is 
I'm back and forth to Belfast all the time, so I'm right there. But some of you would have a longer drive. Yeah, I would say if we can just be set up and let us know when and where, then we can go we can meet it and come. Yeah, it'll be here. I said we can do that. We have to meet here. just to meet here. Yeah. Yeah. Those in this area of the state can meet here. And uh, uh, Commissioner, if you're welcome to come up to Madison County and get with me, and we'll take a ride. <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a parking lot right across the street that's yeah. the state building, so I don't know if they want you to use the parking lot. Okay. All right. Uh, there was some discussion 